What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the 10 things that I wish I knew before I shipped off to boot camp. Number one, spend quality time with your family. All right, it goes without saying you guys are going to be gone for quite a while. All right, you're going to want to spend all your time with your friends, partying with your girlfriend and whoever else. But I really encourage you guys to just spend good quality time with your parents, your close relatives, cherish that time that you have with them. Number two, don't buy a bunch of bullshit at the PX. All right, when you guys get to boot camp, you are going to have the ability to go shopping at the PX once in a while. You're going to have the option to buy clothing items, hygiene gear, whatever it may be. But I encourage you guys not to spend all your money at the PX. Really only buy the essentials, what you need, because when you leave boot camp, you're only going to be carrying so much with you. All right, so you're going to end up throwing that shit out or you're going to end up getting rid of it. Now, my drone truckers did a really good job of not allowing us to buy stuff. All right. If they saw us buying a bunch of shit we didn't need, they'd throw it out or they'd make us pay for it in the sand pit. Save your money, only buy the essentials and only buy what you guys need. Number three, take advantage of the referral opportunity or the promotional opportunities that are available to you guys. You guys have the ability to refer people to your recruiter. If you have two buddies that you know that want to join the Marine Corps, send them to your recruiter. All right, if they join the Marine Corps, you get a meritorious promotion to PFC when you get out of boot camp. All right, but also there are things you can do to get meritoriously promoted. You can become a squad leader or a guide. All right, in my case, I tried my hand at the squad leader position multiple times in boot camp. I kept getting fired for various reasons, but I still got meritoriously promoted out of boot camp because of my PT scores and my overall positive attitude despite the hell you go through in boot camp. I don't know what my drill instructor saw in me, but they saw something and I got promoted to PFC out of boot camp. Number four, buying a vehicle. I would highly advise you guys wait on buying a vehicle until you absolutely need to. Okay, because it goes without saying, you guys don't make a lot of money as a junior Marine. In my case, I owned a motorcycle and I had a pickup truck before I left for the Marine Corps. My motorcycle, I sold it when I went to boot camp, pocketed the money. And my truck, I left it at my parents until I hit the fleet. And then I paid something like $600 to have it shipped across the country. Okay? Don't be that boot that gets out of boot camp, gets to your first unit, and goes to one of those shitty used car lots off base. Those guys are freaking lizards, and they are just there to steal your money. They know you get paid on the 1st and the 15th every month, and they're going to lock you into an absurd interest rate. And you're going to walk away from that dealership with a piece of shit car that you're paying like $800 a month for. All right, so hold off on buying a vehicle, save your freaking money, and wait till you guys get to the fleet. Number five, control your habits. If you guys have a nicotine addiction, you're smoking cigarettes or chewing tobacco regularly, I would highly advise you guys start weaning yourself off of that. All right, because when you get to boot camp and MCT and SOI, you're not gonna be able to use those things. You don't wanna go into the Marine Corps with a bad cigarette addiction and then not be able to smoke for 13 weeks, okay? Because boot camp is already hard enough, physically and mentally. And if you're going through that shit with cigarette withdrawals or whatever it is, then it's gonna be that much more difficult. Number six, take pride in your uniforms. All right, when you get to boot camp, you're gonna get issued all your uniforms. And if you guys do it right, you can make those uniforms last for the remainder of your enlistment. If you know you're gonna be PTing in boots and utes, which is your boots and your trousers, I would highly advise you guys wear the same trousers every time. If you know you're going to be getting dirty every day at your job because you're a motor T operator or whatever it is, wear the same camis. Only have two sets of camis designated for those days that you're going to be getting dirty, right? Save the other camis for the days that you're not. All right, with your dress uniforms, I would encourage you guys to take those to an alterations place off base and really get them fitted to your body. All right, you don't want to be that Marine walking around with some baggy ass looking dress uniforms. Get your trousers fitted. Get your shirts fitted. When I was in the Marine Corps, I took my camis out in town and I got them fitted because a lot of the times the camis are just big and bulky. All right, I was a skinny guy in the Marine Corps. So I took my camis off base and I got this tip from my staff sergeant who was a former drill instructor. All right, his camis always fitted his body perfectly and he looked sharp. Wear those uniforms with pride. Wear them proudly. All right, and represent the Marine Corps by looking good in your uniform. Number seven, when you guys get to MOS school, I would highly advise you guys bring some civilian clothes. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a couple of uniforms, but it'll save you the headache and the money from having to go to the PX and spend, you know, a decent amount of cash on some civilian clothes. Number eight, 
don't buy a bunch of moto gear all right everybody knows you guys are a freaking marine especially if you're walking around off base you guys all have the same stupid haircuts the same ridiculous tan lines and you guys just look like boots every civilian knows you're in the marine corps and you don't need to be walking around looking like a marine corps billboard all right do not be those boots because we marines we all know who you are and we're going to roast you for it number nine don't go get that moto tat right off the bat you guys do not want to graduate boot camp and go right out in town and get a freaking tattoo. You see Marines all too often with the stupidest looking moto tats on their arm. Everybody's got the same one. Take your time. Really wait and think about what tattoo you want to get. I'm not saying moto tats are a bad thing. Look, I got a big one on my thigh. But guess when I got it? I got it last year. Seven years after I got out of the Marine Corps. Okay? I wanted to wait for the right time. I really wanted to think about the right tattoo. And it took me a long time. Number 10. Don't fall into the wrong crowd. All right, when you guys get into the Marine Corps and you hit the fleet, you're going to encounter those people who are negative. You know, they have problems with authority. They hate the Marine Corps and they constantly talk bad about it. And they're going to want to bring you down to their level. All right, we call those guys shit bags. You don't want to be one of them because your leaders are going to notice who you're hanging around with and what kind of Marine you want to become. All right, I encourage you guys to bust your ass, be the best Marine that you can be, bust your ass in PT, and really show your superiors that you want to advance in the Marine Corps and that you want to pick up rank, all right? So be motivated, wear that uniform proudly, and get after it, guys. Go out there and accomplish your dreams. And before you guys leave, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I encourage you guys to join the Discord community. The link is down below in the description. You guys can ask each other questions, get to know each other, talk to me directly, and I encourage you guys to hit that link and join our community. Also check out ForTheCore.com. I'll link to it above. I have free resources available to you guys. I thank you guys so much for the love and support. And I'll be seeing you all real soon. This is Tony with For The Core. Semper Five. <laughs>